Hello everyone and welcome back to another Versatuna guide. Today I will present you as promised the echo tune for the RX8. So what I basically did was I just took my latest tune um, and altered just a few values like load threshold and the throttle inputs and the FU ratio. So we just go quickly over the tables, what I changed, what the effect is and yeah, to understand the logic behind what I did. So first thing I changed was the closed loop max load one, two and three. All of these three tables are the same. So I set 63% of engine load. If you're above that, go into open loop. If you're below that, be in closed loop. If you're above 4,000 RPM, go into open loop. That's what the zero is standing for. As you can see, all of this, these three tables are the same. The closed loop max RPM is 4500 RPM because I do not want to run it in closed loop above that RPM. Simple as that, you can set it to 6000, you can set it to 9000, so you would be always in closed loop um, unless you reach a certain throttle input, which we have here. I set it to 70% of throttle input, um, basically means Everything um, below 70% of throttle uh, input is closed loop and everything above that is open loop. Um, these two tables, the, the closed loop max throttle and the closed loop max load are related to each other. So you can't define like or only go into open loop above 70% throttle or only go into closed loop if you're above 63%. It's always one or the other. Like if you're not above 70% and uh, of throttle input, but you're above 63% of engine load, it goes into open loop. As well as if you're not above the 63% uh, of engine load but you go above 70% you're in open loop so yeah that's basically the simple way to explain it um, that's basically everything I edited in here um, let's go down to fueling everything is the same except for the closed loop air fuel additive which is altered still since I reset that um, to make it like more stock for you. Um, so normally it would be minus 0 0.44 for mine since I have the race clutch and it doesn't idle properly above 14.7 to 1 air fuel ratio. So I have to enrich the idle area a bit. Um, but for you, it would be fine like this. Um, what I did is I changed the cruising area from 2000 RPM to 3500 RPM to plus 0 0.466 uh, air fuel additive, basically on top of the target air fuel ratio that is 14.7 to 1. So basically, if you always want 14.7 to 1, while in clo closed loop, you could just highlight the whole table and set every value to zero. It would always result into in 14.7 to 1. Um, yeah. So basically, we just leaned out the cruising area even more than Mazda from the factory already did. 
um, the factory value would be yeah something around 0 0.21 0 0.1 we did 0 0.466 which results in approximately 15.2 to 1 of I saw it fluctuate a lot uh, between 15 point three to 15.6 to one um, I'll play a video of me recording uh, while driving in town and also while being on back road where the speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour and i show you what the fu ratio at 100 kilometers an hour is like so yeah that's the whole table how i drove it for the past 17 days and now we go into idle idle i adjusted to be 960 um so yeah for each table so it doesn't use as much fuel while idling i really do not think it is much fuel that was saved while idling since i'm not really driving a lot in town basically like there are some stoplights and stuff but nothing major like not stop and go all the time it would be impossible with my clutch so um and everything else is basically just like the latest tune i've uploaded probably um of course, I deleted pops and bangs. That's a major thing to consider. Like I have the stock ignition timing for the low load cells. Since pop and bang does up uh, does up the fuel consumption. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, if any questions arise, leave them down in the comments. Um, I will show a video now of how many kilometers I've got on the clock and then I will probably tell you in the description how much I filled up on the gas station and then I will do math for what's the mpg that i got and how many liters per 100 kilometers it was so yeah thanks for watching and have a nice day bye